Not all animals are equipped with weaponry to ward off predators. Sometimes the best way to avoid being eaten is to make yourself invisible. On that note, today we're going to be doing a countdown of the top 10 animals with the best camouflage. Number one is a no-brainer, but still watch out for it. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Chameleon. Chameleons are by far the most popular camouflagers, if that's even a word, out there. They are the master of disguise, able to blend into any background no matter how complex or colorful. It's a good thing it has all that because it needs it to escape from danger. However, there is a very particular reason why it only occupies number 10 on this list, and the reason for that is because chameleons don't change color to camouflage themselves. There you go. Pretty much everything you learned about chameleons from your childhood is ruined now. Of course, it is true that chameleons lacking defenses like a dangerous bite or poisonous skin aren't very well protected against predators, so staying hidden does help them survive. But they don't need to change their colors to do that. When relaxed, they are usually shades of brown, gray, or green, which is already perfect for blending into the background of their natural habitat. Instead, the bright color-changing abilities we know them for are less about protecting the chameleons from danger and more about communication. Bright colors help chameleons communicate how they are feeling, kind of like that mood ring that you wore in middle school that was supposed to broadcast how you were feeling, but then just got stuck on being an orangish color or something like that and you threw it away. In other words, if a chameleon is angry or fearful, its colors tend to darken, but if it is trying to establish dominance, its colors will brighten. Number 9. The Devil Scorpionfish The Devil Scorpionfish is also known as the False Stonefish. It is a rather ugly, unpleasant-looking fish, and its species name of Diabolus, which roughly means devil in Latin, is derived from its rather frightening looks. Their coloration is extremely variable, and they take on the colors and textures of their surroundings. The skin is warty and full of small flaps. As they are immobile most of the time, algae and other organisms tend to grow on them, adding to their camouflage. As with all members of the scorpion fish family, they have poison glands for protection in their dorsal and pelvic fins. They will initially rely on their camouflage when approached by a diver. Provided that they do not feel threatened, they will sit dead still. If they do feel threatened, they will open up their pectoral fins, which are brightly colored, in an attempt to warn the diver off. If that does not work, they will hop away a few feet using their pectoral fins. Their poison isn't as powerful as that of the stonefish and is unlikely to kill a human. Instead, one is likely to have extreme pain, nausea, and the area affected will go white. Obviously, they are quite hard to spot in the wild, making it easy for someone to step on them with disastrous consequences. Ironically enough, though, they are easier to spot at night, and this is due to their eyes reflecting light, hence they are relegated to number 9 on this list. Number 8. The Dead Leaf Butterfly This incredible butterfly can be found, if you look hard enough, from India to Japan, anywhere in the Asian tropics, basically. Its taxonomic name is Kalema Inakis, but it is also known as the Orange Oak Leaf or Indian Oak Leaf. Unsurprisingly, its most common name is that of the Dead Leaf Butterfly. This disguise is intended to confound predators because you can't eat what you can't see. The brilliance of the Dead Leaf Butterfly's disguise is the fact that it hasn't just nailed the coloring of a dead leaf, it's got the shape, the midrib, and even the veins figured out, and it all comes together so perfectly. Yet, just wait and see what appears once it opens its wings. When its wings are open, it reveals a luminous color pattern that can hold its own against the world's prettiest wings. Unfortunately, due to the dual nature of its wings, its camouflage is only good enough to land it on the eighth spot on this list. Number 7. The Common Barren Caterpillar If you are a hungry bird in Western Malaysia, good luck finding any common barren caterpillars. Plenty of other butterfly larvae blend in with local plants, but few can vanish into vegetation like the barren. Barren caterpillars evolved their elaborate shapes and colors for that single purpose, hiding from predators. This boosts their odds of becoming common barren butterflies and therefore reproducing. Native to India and Southeast Asia, feeding mostly on mango and cashew nut trees during its larvae stage, they remarkably camouflage themselves and seemingly disappear into foliage. That can sour their relationship with mango farmers, though. Yet another reason camo comes in handy. However, as soon as they evolve from larvae to butterfly stage, they lose their camouflaging ability, and that's why they are only number 7 on this list. Number 6. The Leaf Catydid. Abundant in human tropical areas, these critters are a part of a group of insects known as Pterocharizini, which mimic leaves. But not just new green leaves, no, no, these bugs have perfected the art of the speckled decaying and chewed leaf. 
Some of the leaves even have holes, which are areas with a translucent membrane window. And what's more, within a single species, no two individuals are alike. In fact, they vary so widely in appearance that nearly 22% of all species of Petrochazini were discovered and described more than once under different names. Predation is a key driving force in the evolution of camouflage. There is often a self-perpetuating arms race between the perceptive abilities of a predator and the defensive and cryptic characteristics of the hiding prey. If all katydids imitated a leaf in the same way, monkeys would quickly learn how to identify a fake leaf. However, if the fake leaves are as irregular in appearance as real leaves, the monkey's task becomes much more difficult. It's not surprising, then, that katydids do not only mimic one type or form of leaf, and that amazing ability is good enough to land it on the number 6 spot on this list. Number 5. The Pygmy Seahorse Pygmy seahorses aren't simply tiny seahorses. They are a distinct group of animals that live in the tropical oceans of Southeast Asia. Most are no more than 2.5 centimeters or 0.98 inches in length. At the moment, there are seven known species, although at least one biologist who studies the animals believe they should be divided into additional ones. Scientists suspect that there are many more pygmy seahorses waiting to be discovered. Their small size, camouflage techniques, and nocturnal activity often cause the animals to be overlooked. Pygmy seahorses live amongst much larger animals called sea fans. A sea fan is actually a colony of small animals known as polyps. It has a branched fan-like structure made of calcium carbonate and protein and resembles coral. Pygmy seahorses are often very hard to see as they rest on a branch of a particular sea fan, since the appearance of their body surface resembles that of the background. Their bodies are covered with rounded bumps that look like polyps as well as stripes and spots that help them blend in with their background. Pygmy seahorses could have ranked higher on this list if not for the fact that their camo only works on one specific background. Number 4. The Right-Eyed Flounder As a type of flatfish, flounder are ideally suited to life on the ocean floor. They huddle up to the seabed, often aided by speckled skin that helps them blend in, such as this pebble-dwelling flounder. This offers safety from predators, but also lets them ambush prey like shrimp, worms, and fish larvae. Flounder begin life as larvae themselves, but undergo a dramatic metamorphosis as they approach adulthood. One eye drifts to the other side of a young flounder's head, letting it swim flat with both eyes looking up. Despite their camouflage, though, many flounders are at risk from overfishing, according to the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch. If you are a flounder fan, opt for Pacific rather than Atlantic varieties, specifically avoiding Atlantic Dab, Sol, and Harame. Their camo is so effective that you're going to have a hard time spotting them on the sandy sea floor where they reside, amazing enough to land them the fourth spot on our list. Number 3. The Cuttlefish A cuttlefish is a cephalopod related to squids. Like squids, they have ten tentacles and are mollusks that have lost their hard outer shells. Unlike squids, however, they have a broad internal shell called a cuttlebone that helps them to stay afloat in water. They also have broader bodies and move more slowly than squids. Cuttlefish have many fascinating attributes, like their capability to camouflage themselves and their unusually high intelligence for invertebrates. They are among the most cunning predators on the planet, and yet are very sociable and inquisitive creatures. Even though it is colorblind, the cuttlefish is a genius at camouflage. It will change its color, pattern, texture, and even its shape to mimic anything in its surroundings. Their skin contains several layers of pigment-producing cells called chromatophores above a layer of light-reflecting cells, or leucophores, and there are about 200 of these cells per square millimeter. In terms of computer-produced images, this would be around 359 dpi, about the resolution of a typical inkjet printer. Because of this highly complicated and efficient camouflage technique, cuttlefish are number three on our list. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be looking at a creature whose camouflage is so effective that you would think this animal was made up. In any case though, it is very much real, and is at number 2 on this list. Number 2. The Buff Tip Moth The Buff Tip Moth has one of the most amazing camouflage patterns and even its shape has evolved to help it blend in with its chosen surroundings. When a buff tip moth rests among broken twigs on the woodland floor or amongst branches on a tree, it almost disappears from sight. Buff tip moths can be found in gardens and woodland. Their flight season is mostly June and July. Having spent the winter as a chrysalis underground, the adult moth takes to the wing and females soon lay a large batch of eggs. 
Their larvae hatch out en masse, eating the leaves of various trees including sallows, birch, oak, and hazel, and for a while stick together making them a good deal more obvious than their parents. Once they do have the strength, they spread out before pupating underground in the autumn and so the life cycle begins again. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Mimic Octopus The name for the Mimic Octopus comes from the fact that they often copy the behaviors of other types of animals in the water. They do this in order to trick predators into leaving them alone. They are not very large octopus with an overall length of 2 feet when they are fully grown. They have a normal coloring that spans many spans of brown and white. They also have stripes and spots on them that help to blend into their surroundings. Like other types of octopus, they can change the colors of their bodies to blend in when they need to. The changes in their environment are what will trigger those changes. The Mimic Octopus is fascinating to watch due to the fact that they do act like many other animals. For example, they may move along in the water mimicking the movements of an eel. They've also been observed mimicking plenty of other animals too, though including stingrays, jellyfish, and starfish. Not only do they copy the movements, but they also turn their bodies to those colors so that they will fit the description as well. And that's our video for today, folks. Did we leave anything out? Let us know in the comment section below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.